Hello friends, welcome back to Odoo 14 development video. In the last video, we already covered that what are the components we have inside a module. In this video, we are going to look into the structure of a module. So each module is a directory within a module directory. Okay, so each module in a is a directory inside a module directory so what is a module directory it's a directory that contains all the modules so it are it's always uh, have a it, ha it should always be mentioned in our add-on spot so here you can see the add-ons path in our configuration file. We are running our project using this configuration file. Here we have mentioned that this is our add-ons path. So the this project, this Odoo 14 project will only take the, uh, the directories under this path as modules. So, uh, in the case of Enter Odoo Enterprise, we will have additional set of add-ons. So that uh, I that I put under this Enterprise directory, you can see that. So, in the case of uh, Enterprise, we will have one more path to the directories module directory. Okay, so each module is a directory inside a module that uh, add-on path or module directory and module directories are specified by using this add-on path parameter okay that's how uh, that's what we have regarding this uh, add-ons path then let's uh, go to the structure of a module so we are taking one of the add-on under our add-ons directory let's take the accounts the first module so here a module is declared by its manifest so you can see a manifest file here this is how we declare a module so you can see the name of the module uh, the name parameter is called invoicing and its version is given here summary of the module is given sequence and the description detailed description of the module and uh, the category of the module accounting comes under the accounting category and the website of the other or related things either you can put anything the images like the icons different things and uh, depends other modules uh, that this module the account module is depends on we, we have to put those uh, modules list here so uh, like an example uh, the sales must need the invoice so when you in, when you look into the sales module it will have this accounting that means the invoicing module the account module and in its depends list and other data files are everything the data files we can see the security rules security access rights files data files wizard views other uh, ui related xml uh, files everything is listed under this data and the demo data is uh, given here the demo slash account demo and uh, the qa details like the account payment or all the details under this uh, qa directory and is it installable or is it a application or a supporting module just like uh, the accounting 
uh, invoicing, accounting, sales, these kind of things are applications. But there are other modules in Odoo that are not applications, but they, they are just add-ons uh, that uh, uses for specific purposes uh, to extend the app applications. And is it auto install? and uh, other post init hook those kind of different parameters so this is the file that declares a module so if you haven't mentioned uh, some files here uh, those files will not be considered uh, to that uh, to your add-ons so uh, just like uh, if you didn't uh, mention a view a, a view that is defined in XML file if you didn't mention that XML file here after the installation you won't get that uh, desired view uh, in your user interface so it must be declared here and uh, each module you can say as a Python package it will have a init file that you can see here you see a uh, lot of functions here so uh, it's a little different from the normal things you see uh, from dot import controllers that means you have some files here and inside that you have a init file it will have the onboarding and portal.py files and uh, these uh, files are connected to the module using this import line the models, wizard, report, all the files. So uh, it's just like a Python. We can say a Python package with the uh, init.py file containing all the import instructions for various Python files inside the module. So, uh, so uh, I hope you uh, got the idea of. Uh, the structure and installation sorry uh, the structure and declaration of a module so simply saying all the modules all modules are a directory inside a add-ons path and uh, a module is declared by the manifest file and module is also a python package with the init init.py file it contains all the import instructions uh, for uh, for various python files inside the module i hope uh, you are clear about the idea thanks for watching just like um, the previous video you can put your uh, doubts or queries in your the comment section we will uh, we will we will try to answer those questions thanks for watching see you on the next video if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business drop your request to order at cybrosis.com